My dudes, let me tell you, this book is such a game changer. Hello friends! Do you want to start learning Korean? Or are you already learning Korean but kind of stagnating on an intermediate level? Then this video is for you. Today I will share some book tips with you to really elevate your Korean studies to the next level. I'm really excited, so let's get right into it. In this video, I'm actually not gonna save the best for last, but I'm gonna start with the best, and that is this book. My dudes, let me tell you, this book is such a game changer. Correct Your Korean 150 Common Grammar Errors is a book that is really such a gem for learners of all levels. It explores 150 common grammatical errors that Korean learners tend to make and let me tell you, they are spot on. This book, just like pretty much all of the books of the publisher Dadak Won, is beautifully organized in categories such as uh, particles, tenses, ending particles, narrative statements, connective endings, and so on. For each and every one of the 150 common errors, uh, there is like a little test for you to see if you already got this grammar down or if you also tend to make errors still. Then of course there's some general explanation of the grammar in question and a more in-depth look into what errors are commonly made and how to avoid them. Of course there's also a bunch of exercises where you can really train your grammar skills and the section that I personally found the most helpful was the one about tenses, like time tenses. <laughs> because as you may know, Korean has a lot of different tenses and especially if you combine them with other grammar particles, it can get really confusing on the little nuances and you know when you have to put something in what kind of form. So for me this was, even now after so many years of learning Korean, a really helpful guidebook. Overall this book is just really great at focused troubleshooting of your Korean and definitely a great help for Korean learners on every level. And now I just wish they would make a version of this dealing with the most common errors in vocabulary or other expressions or something along those lines. The next book is a book I wish I had found before I enrolled in university here in Korea. And it is Korean Language for Humanities Students or 청공 한국어 인문. This is the humanities version, but keep in mind there's also a business version. So depending on which major or which field of study you're interested in, that version might be more appropriate for you. You need this book if you A, want to study in a university in Korea, or B, you want to have some really high level discussions in Korean. Of course, this book deals with the field of humanities, so you will not learn about mathematical equations or stuff like that in here, but you will be able to learn a bit more about topics such as philosophy, social media and big data, and language development. These topics are not only interesting and relevant on their own, but because you learn about them in Korean, it just gives your vocabulary such an incredible boost that you just cannot get from a regular Korean textbook. Apart from that, the book also touches on training your uh, critical thinking ability and also improving your discussion skills. In every chapter, there's a little bit of grammar as well, of course, some exercises to test your knowledge and discussion questions, as well as some more in-depth explanations on the scientific terms that were used in the reading texts. Uh, of course, all in Korean, but you definitely can learn a thing or two. My third recommendation is the most standard textbook in between the books of today, and it is Vitamin Korean, Vitamin Hangugo. This is level 6, but there's a book of Vitamin Korean um, from level 1 to 6, so no matter where you are in your Korean studies, there is a book available for you. The overall structure of this book is pretty similar to other standard Korean textbooks. So we have a reading text, we have uh, related questions and exercises, and of course a little bit of grammar. Where Vitamin Korean shines, though, 
is one, the big focus on discussions and really talking in Korean, and two, the inclusion of idioms and figures of speech in every chapter. It is so, so important to really speak Korean out loud while you learn the language, and you get some really interesting and fun discussion ideas in this book. And of course, it's kind of a fun challenge to learn these new idioms, and then try to come up with a dialogue where you can use them. Also, in general, I feel it's really hard to find the regular textbooks on a very high level of Korean, so that is another reason why I want to recommend Vitamin Korean. And last but not least, uh, this book is a recommendation for those of you who, while learning Korean, want to also get a deeper understanding of Korean culture, history, and national affairs. This is Munwaga Inan Hangukwa Ilki, or roughly translated Korean reading about culture. Now, this again is level six, the highest level at the moment, uh, but there's also this book available starting from level one. What I really liked while working with this book is that it feels more like reading a cultural guidebook rather than just sitting down to do some hard studying. But of course, there's also some exercises in every chapter, so if you're really a fan of that, don't worry, they got you covered. And this book includes some interesting facts and little stories about Korean culture and history that you might not necessarily find out about otherwise, so this is definitely a recommendation from me. And this is it, my top four book recommendations for learning Korean most efficiently. But wait, there is one more very important thing I have to mention. All the books I spoke about today are from the publisher Daragwon, and anyone who knows me or has watched my best and worst Korean textbooks videos from four years ago knows that I love Daragwon. Their books are perfectly organized, they're packed full with useful information, and they offer the most helpful explanations that you can find in any Korean textbooks. They also cater to any level of Korean learners, starting with a1 or like beginners level textbooks and working all the way up to C2, the advanced Korean learners. Plus they have a lot of books that focus on one specific area, for example, focusing on speaking abilities, focusing on listening abilities and so on. So you can completely customize your learning experience and focus on the aspects that you want to focus on. I will link their website below so you can check out their whole catalog and order your favorite Korean textbooks. Lastly, I want to say a huge thank you to Daragwon because they actually sent me these free books for free so I can review them and introduce them to you guys. I bought so, so many Daragwon books over the years, both for myself and my mom, who is also learning Korean. So being able to have a collaboration with them like this is like a dream come true. Anyway, I hope you found today's video helpful. Let me know which Korean level you are at right now in the comments below and feel free to leave any questions about learning Korean. That's it for today. I'm going to go learn a little bit more about the psychological implications behind digital marketing. <laughs> Stay happy and healthy and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye!